Hi everybody, welcome back to Brin Love Indoors. It's Moira here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you are doing well and keeping warm. I mean, it looks like this year we're going to be having a cold Christmas. I mean, <laughs> which is very weird. I mean, this time of the year, this we're supposed to be in summer and it's so cold. You can see by what I'm wearing. It's very cold. We're supposed to be swimming and uh enjoying summer and you know yeah not wearing sweatpants and and hoodies and <laughs> and all that you know but hey what can we say i'm not complaining um we've had a lot of rain a lot of rain and my garden outside is looking wonderful <laughs> for that i'm not complaining i'm loving it but i must say um i'm a summer girl i love my summer so <laughs> I hope it will clear up quickly and we can begin to enjoy um, this season for what it is, summer, right? But anyway, enough with that. Um, yeah, we are, in a, we, in a, we are in a beautiful season. Christmas is around the corner and I must say I love this time of the year. So yeah, before I go ahead with today's video, I want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel thank you for your likes thank you for your comments you know if there's something i look forward to on this channel uh every time i post a video is your comments because it's a platform where i get to chat to you where you you get to chat with me and um and where we get to learn from one another i must say i mean um, you've been wonderful in that regard, you know. There's been times where I'll never forget the, the day where I posted a video and the sound, the music was louder than um, the, 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 my voice, you know. So people couldn't hear me well because the music, and I wasn't aware of that. And, you know, someone was kind enough to let me know. And nicely, they were not rude. They were not uh, funny. They just kindly advised to say, we are not able to hear you, you know. Um, and I quickly went and, and uh, um, took that video down and edited it nicely and put it back up. And, you know, and that for me, it's it's wonderful, you know, I... I love it. I love it when you give me advice, when you, uh, like there was a time I mislabeled a plant. <laughs> you know, sometimes you talk and you've got so many plants you're talking about and you think you're saying the right name of the plant and it's not that I didn't know that plant, you know, and instead of saying imperial green, I said imperial, I think I, I, think I said imperial red no, instead of saying emerald red, I think. I don't even remember what. But then I said imperial green and someone said it, you know. But politely again, politely again to say, ah, oh, no, the name of that plant is actually, you know, this. And I was like, oh, thank you. And, um, you know, so it's it's a, I, I look forward to the comments. Uh, it's a platform where I get to know you, you get to know me, and I get to learn also from you. And, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, because it's nice to, it's one thing to share with you how I do my things and, but I also want to know how you do your things and, and I learn from that. I learn from that and I take from it. Um, yeah, those are the few instances I remember <laughs> where a, a follower came and say, a subscriber came and say, you know what, this is this is this, go look at that, or, you know, and it, it meant a lot, it really meant a lot, so I look forward to your comments, it's one of my favorite, favorite thing after posting, where I sit, and I read your comments, and I hear your thoughts, and, um, and you've been wonderful, and I really appreciate that, so please don't stop commenting, um, yeah, I enjoy reading your comments, and I enjoy replying to them, I don't just read them, I reply to them also, so yeah thank you so much thank you for your love and support thank you for being here thank you for sticking around you've been with me my channel is growing and it's all because of you it's all because of you and um so yeah um <clears throat> today i wanted i mean it's a it's a it's a giving season 
<laughs> we are pro it's a giving season um you know we are out and about buying gifts and thinking of gifts to buy for our family and friends and i thought why not do a video on you know plants you can gift as gifts you know and uh why 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 are they why would you go for them well or why would i choose them why would i select those um because i mean um you know, there's this, 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 you, I'm sure you do have friends and families who love plants and it's a beautiful thing to give. It's a beautiful gift to give. And I just wanted to show you, give you some ideas of plants you can actually give as gifts. Um, I'm having my chai tea. Like I said, it's, it's been cold. Even today it's cold. Yesterday was worse. Today's better. You know, looks like the sun is going to come out, you know, so I'm looking forward to that. It being warmer than what it has been. So, yeah, let's, which one am I going to start with first? You can see I'm surrounded by plants. I'm just going to touch on 10. There's a whole lot out there which you can give as gifts. I'm just going to touch on 10 of them, Um, you know, uh, and that doesn't mean these are the only plants you can give as gifts. Trust me. Uh, there's a whole lot of plants, especially, and, and the ones I'm doing, there are those ones which I consider easy to care for, um, especially if you are buying for someone who is not like a plant mama like some of us, but they love plants, but they don't quite <laughs> add that into it, like me and you. <laughs> so yeah, the first one I want to start with is this beautiful heart-shaped leaf philodendron now um this is a beautiful plant to give us a to give us a gift i mean you look at your golden pothos you look at you think of your brazil uh, philodendron you think of your uh, lemon and lime these are beautiful trailing plants to give us gifts they are easy to care for um they don't require much maintenance. Um, you can let it dry out. Now, I let mine dry out to the bone before I give it water. And um, they tell you when they are, when they need a drink. They droop. They just droop, you know. And once you get to know your plants, um, you'll see, like now, it's fine. I watered them today. Um, they pack back up once they've had a drink. They are not, they, they, you know, they, they, yeah, they don't become all droopy. But once you let them dry out, they will get a bit droopy. They will actually get droopy. You'll see it. Even when you touch the leaves, they'll feel a little bit flimsy. Then you know it's time to water them. Otherwise, if you don't know whether it's, if you're not sure, the best thing is to stick your finger into the soil all the way all the way down there and if you get there and it's dry it's time to water but if you get there and it's still moist leave it alone so they're very easy to care for honestly speaking i don't fuss about these at all i have a lot of these around my house a lot of these around my house i find them beautiful and they've got this beautiful heart-shaped leaf they don't just call them heart-shaped leaf for no reason really their leaves looks like a heart <laughs> so you're thinking of a plant you want to give a friend or a family member and you know you know and something trailing i would go for this or golden pothos which i don't have here or brazil philodendron brazil or your lemon and lime you know these are beautiful plants to give as gifts and the next one would be your zizi plant look how cute this is my tiny baba this is also a very beautiful plant to give as a gift it's super easy it doesn't require a lot of maintenance it wants to be on the dry side of things you don't want to give this plant a lot of water you do it will you'll wake up and the next day it would have fallen over you know it will rot so um same thing i let it go bone dry and um, i only give it when it's completely completely dry like super dry when i pick up the pot like now it's still okay it's not time to water it yet i gave it water 
few days ago. So yeah, it's a beautiful plant to give as a gift. Um, if you know, if if there's someone you want to gift a plant to whom you know, you know what, they're not that into plants, but they do like plants, they'll, they'll like a plant or two. This is very nice because then it doesn't require them to be on top of things, to be very honest. Mm -mm, you know? And it can handle neglect, if I put it that way. Even the one I just showed you, they can handle neglect. And yeah, they're beautiful. I think they're beautiful plants. That's a ZZ. And the next one would be this one next to me. <laughs> I don't know. I find them beautiful. They come in all sizes. I mean, you get them... You do get some which are like tiny little pots like that. I mean, I wish I had one. This one was very tiny when I bought it. It had grown. I've had this for a few years now, probably over two years now. Um, it was smaller than this when I brought it home. They are slow growers, very slow growers. And I find it, I find them to be very low maintenance, to be very honest. Uh, I don't know. Maybe someone might feel different. Um... And I let it go dry, and it's sitting in this pot. I sell water, I bottle water it, so it's sitting in this pot. Um, so you see, it's got the string, I've got a string in there, so it drinks from the bottom. So this is the reservoir, I pour, I pour water in here, and I let it drink from the bottom. And I leave it to dry out only when it's time, when it's, when it's dry, I refill the, the reservoir. So, um, these are beautiful bamboo palms. These are beautiful or a reka plum. These are absolutely beautiful to give as gifts. And I like the fact that they're slow growers. I need to cut this off. <laughs> I like the fact that they're slow growers. And if you're giving a gift to someone who is who loves plants, and I feel like I keep on repeating myself, and they're not that into plants, they're not gonna feel overwhelmed because um, yeah, it, it's 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 a very slow grower, but it's beautiful, it's elegant, and um, it can handle low light. Even these ones which I just did, they can handle any kind of environment in your home be it low light or bright light or medium light um same thing with the zz same thing with this one where i have it i have it in um the environment is sitting in it's a medium light environment so yeah um it's a beautiful plant to give i find it absolutely and i find it absolutely easy to care for your areca plum or palm not plum palm or bamboo palm so um and the next one would be arrowhead plant <laughs> arrowhead plants are beautiful they're stunning plants i love them they are also trailing plants if you are, if you let them trail they'll trail for you otherwise you can uh, put them on a moss pole and they will grow up you know, as you can see, I'm letting mine to do its thing. I've got a few of this around my house. They come in all sizes and shapes. They come in all different. They come. They 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 have them in different varieties, and I think they make a beautiful, beautiful gift. And they are easy to care for. I let mine dry out before I give it water. Um, they can handle low light. They can handle medium light. They can handle bright light. And, um, yeah, I mean, they don't have issues. They don't have issues. Um, so looking for a plant to give as a gift, maybe you can consider arrowhead plant. And, um, another one would be Hoya. I mean, we can't talk about gifts and we don't mention Hoyas. Um, I brought forward this small one of mine. I've had it forever. It was tinier than this, and it's growing slowly. It's also a slow grower. It's growing slowly, but surely. <laughs> so, um, otherwise, the ones, the other ones I have, they're hanging, and I didn't want to bring it. I don't want to bring to take them off from where they are hanging. That's a lot of work. Um, Hoyas are also beautiful plants to give as gifts. 
Um, apart from the fact that they're stunning and you get them in different varieties and you know and all that you get variegated or your canosa this is this is the non variegated one and you get a whole lot of other varieties and to be very honest I feel our shops where I am they can really bring it bring in more varieties we don't have a lot of varieties in our garden shops all you find is a variegated and an unvarigated version of hoya canosa and that's about it um but i'm hoping as as time goes on they'll be, they'll begin to bring in more varieties and stuff and when they do i will definitely collect more of the of, of hoyas because they're beautiful plants to collect um so yeah, I mean, this is stunning. They are easy to care for. Trust me, they are low maintenance. They can handle low light. They can handle medium light. They can handle bright light. Just don't put them on direct sun. But they will do very well, unless if you give them morning sun, you know. Uh, mine are getting, where they are, some of them are getting morning sun and they love it. So yeah, um, it's a beautiful plant to give as a gift. It's beautiful, Hoya Canosa. And um, the other one would be, I just need to move the ones I've already touched on. Then I can bring forward the ones I haven't touched on. Um, I don't even know what number I'm at. <laughs> and this is your Dracaena. Um, I love this plant. I've had it for over two years now <laughs> and it's just continuing to do well and grow for me um these are beautiful plants to have these are beautiful plants to give as gifts they are low maintenance they can handle medium light low light bright light they will do well for you they don't like to be overwatered. uh same thing with hoya canosa um they don't let me just finish with this dracaena it doesn't like to be overwatered. it likes to be on the dry side of things so i let it go completely bone dry before i give it water and when i do give it i make sure i soak it up and then we start all over again let it go bone dry <laughs> and it will love you for it same with um same with this one uh, what do you call it? Hoya canosa. It loves to be on the dry side of things. So before I give it water, I let it go bone dry. And it will show you, it will show you, this one will show you that it needs water. Uh, the leaves will, will become a little bit soft or, um, yeah, they won't be firm. Now they're firm. If you, if you try and bend it, it's firm. It's not that easy to bend. Then you know you don't need to water it. It doesn't need watering. Um, but when it needs water, when you do that to the leaf, it will be flimsy. Then you know it's time to water it. Otherwise, if you're not sure, like I said earlier, you stick your finger in, all the way in. And if the soil down there is not moist, um, you, you give it a drink. If it is still moist, you leave it alone loves to be on the dry side of things otherwise uh get to know your pots with me i know my pots like this one is not ready for a drink it's heavy um i know how it feels when it needs a drink and i know how it feels when i need to leave it alone so yeah the weight of your pots it's important to pick up your pots you will know eventually so yeah sorry um so um where am i now and this one, I don't know if I did mention it. Um, while I let it go dry, I don't let it go completely bone, bone, bone dry. Otherwise, it will start telling you that, hey, hey. And it will give you brown tips and all that. And you don't want that. So this one, on the other hand, um, I let the soil go dry, but not completely bone dry like I do with the rest. And uh, what else haven't I touched on? Um, this is another beautiful plant to give as a gift. If someone gave me this, I mean, this is elegant. This is beautiful. I love uh, fiddle leaf figs. Um, now you can get them as, uh, like this one is a dwarf. 
So if you think, ah, uh, I don't know if someone would like to have a tree in their home, like some of us, I wouldn't mind a tree in my house. <laughs> yeah, not just a tree. I wouldn't mind trees in my house. But if you think someone would mind to have a tree in their house, you can get them a dwarf. You can get them a dwarf fiddly fig. This is a dwarf fiddly fig. It doesn't grow too tall. <laughs> and it remains elegant and stylish it i mean it makes any room you put it in um stylish it i mean it's 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 a statement plant for me fiddly fix are statement plants <laughs> i love them <laughs> and and i need more I, I have got about three including this one i've got about three only three i mean really now i need more i need more and uh but big ones i need i need a giant i need a giant so leafy if you are listening <laughs> mm, it would be nice but anyway um this is a nice one to give as a gift they're easy to care for once you get a hang of it i always say with plants once you know what to do with it trust me they become easy to maintain easy to look after once you know what to do with them now with this one i have it in the same situation as my areca palm palm it's sitting in this self-watering pot and drinking with a wick at the bottom as you can see now when i pick up the pot and i feel it's dry then i i refill the bottom i fill up the water at the bottom just enough for it not to touch the pot, um, you know, and then it drinks with the wick. Um, yeah, and it loves it. Uh, that's how I've always watered this one, um, and it loves it. No issues. I don't have any issues with this plant. It has grown so much. It was not this tall when I brought it home. It was a tiny little bugger. And look at it now. Look at it now. I mean, it's sitting on my lap right now. It's almost taller than... <laughs> and my upper body sitting down <laughs> so yeah it's a beautiful plant plant to give as a gift it's very elegant so you're thinking of giving someone a gift um try this one it's one of my favorites okay and where am i okay let's talk about pilia okay I love this plant. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't know if any of you agrees with me out there if when I say I would give it, I would gift it as a gift. Um, they've never given me issues. I find them easy to care for, honestly speaking. They like to be on the dry side of things. They do. They've got these beautiful, beautiful leaves. Um, look at that. Look at that. I mean, how beautiful are these? And all you need to do is make sure that you don't overwater it. It must be on the dry side of things. So I let them go bone dry. These ones, I let them go bone dry. And what's beautiful about them, like most of the plants, they show you when they're dry and they need a drink, they'll just go droopy on you. I've, I've just watered them this morning. So you can see even the saucer is still a little bit wet. Because I've just given them water this morning. And they packed back up. They were all droopy and they packed back up. Um, but they, they are beautiful plants. Um, they, like to be, they like to be on the bright side of things. So the lighting, they like bright light. Uh, if you don't give them enough light, they will get a bit leggy. And yeah, so these ones i've seen I've, I've got mine on the on where they are they get morning sun and bright light throughout the day and they love it i've and i've given my kids each one and they get morning sun also in their bed in, in their bedrooms and bright light throughout the day and they love it but if you expose them to too much sun like afternoon sun because the afternoon sun is too harsh 
the leaves will begin to turn yellow they'll get scorched they'll look miserable absolutely miserable not nice but if you want them to look this beautiful yeah just keep them in a bright lit room or morning sun is perfect for them um yeah and uh, make sure that you ret you rotate your pot regularly regularly that you will get a nice straight stem otherwise they grow towards the light so they will lean on you so and if you don't want that situation just make sure that you rotate it regularly same thing with this dwarf um fiddle leaf beak you can see i don't have anything supporting it and it's because i rotate it quite a lot uh, i make sure that i do that regularly so to keep the stem straight so yeah it's a beautiful plant to give as a gift pillion so yeah and the next one would be just sort this out nicely the next one would be the second last one i think monstera how can we talk about this and not mention monstera deliciosa i mean i put this whole plant in front of me you can't see me anymore well sort of yeah sort of sort of these are beautiful plants are uh, you looking again for another statement plant this is one of them i mean these are beautiful to give as gifts they are amazing they are wonderful i mean you don't have to do much they'll do they will do much for you they will just you know you you take care of them they'll they'll bring it on you know um uh, they're beautiful i find them absolutely elegant uh look at those leaves <clears throat> absolutely beautiful i'm getting a new one and frailing right there i don't know how to show you there and it, it already has those holes <laughs> yeah so this is a beautiful beautiful plant to give as a gift i love monstera deliciosas i can have these all over my house and um again bear in mind if you're gonna buy it for someone that is one of those plants that grows huge they become big they don't call them monsteras for nothing i guess <laughs> <laughs> they can really become monsters like huge but i love them i don't mind big plants i don't mind them as long as i've got space for them i'll continue to get them so these are beautiful they grow large so if you are buying someone a plant uh make sure that they don't have they don't mind the kind the, how big this plant will get and also they've got space for it you know and all that but it's a beautiful plant to have i let them i let mine dry out completely i do i'm sorry i do and they tell you when they're dry they droop also um then when they're dry i, I give them thoroughly i water them thoroughly and we start all over again let them let them go dry you know so they're easy to care for they can handle low light medium light bright light though they'll do well in bright light. i mean all plants let's be honest can we can we just put this out there today um all plants will do well and they do well and do better for you in a bright light room in a bright lit room you know and you want them to grow faster you want them to grow beautifully and to thrive and most of the plants we have they do well well in a bright little room but we don't all have a situation like that in our homes do we so um the plants i'm talking about here today honestly speaking they can handle low light medium light and bright light so yeah and the last one the last one did i say did i talk about water yeah I do let it go bone dry. So the last one, I left it for last. I'm sure you see it right here next to me. It never moved. It's been just here waiting its turn. And now we're going to talk about it. Can you guess what it is? Can I tell you? Peace Lily. <laughs> one of my favorites i love peace lilies now i don't have a small version of a peace lily <laughs> well all my 
my peace lilies are huge so i'm just gonna slowly move it into the camera <laughs> watch that oh <laughs> now you can't see me anymore that's how huge this is yeah i don't have a small version i wish i did <clears throat> is it, i mean i mean i made sure that the plants i brought to the table they were portable they were small um and easy to show on camera you know and even the monstera i brought the tiny one i didn't bring the big mama even the fiddle leaf fig i brought the dwarf <laughs> Even the bamboo palm, I bought a small one because I've got a big one right there next to it and in my room also. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> you know, but I don't have a small version of this. Now, peace lilies are beautiful. Are beautiful. I'm just going to sit back and put it on my lap that you can see its glory. Okay? Watch this. Oh, how beautiful is that? And look at those flowers. Look at those flowers. Look at those flowers. They are all blooming. They are all blooming. My peace lilies are all in bloom. And they really do it well. They don't play. They do it well. When they bloom, they bloom. When they bloom, they bloom. I don't remember going through a year and I don't... My peace lilies without them blooming no when they bloom they bloom they do it well <laughs> so um they are beautiful they're stunning plants they are easy to care for you're looking for something that is also a statement plant which will make your whether it's your coffee table or your dinner table or right there in the corner where you don't quite know what where you don't quite know what to put or you can go for this. It's they're, they're stunning. And they grow large. I mean, this was not as big as this when I got it. They grow big. They they grow huge. Um, Yeah, you do get them in different varieties. You get like some of them have smaller leaves. Some of them are smaller. They are not, they don't grow as big. And some are, they, they, they've got smaller leaves and they grow bushy. Um, but they don't grow too tall and then you get ones that grows bigger and they've got bigger leaves and larger leaves and you know like your bongo your bongo your bongo bongo peace lily i have one right there looking at looking at me or am i looking at it <laughs> so yeah um peace lily is one of them i love peace lilies you're looking for something to give um which flowers go for peace lily um they'll love it they'll love it i've gifted a few of my friends a peace lily and everyone i've gifted a peace lily to they fell in love with it and they still have it they didn't kill it uh it's still growing in their care and all i gave them is few tips um when it's dry when it's dry like completely dry it will droop on you it will it will just you'll find it and you'll think i've killed it no no it's just thirsty and once you give it water it packs back up though you don't want it to go through that situation a lot um the best thing is to check the soil regularly um and it loves to be on the moist side of things this one is different story okay it's a different story it loves to be on the on the moist side of things not soggy moist side of things so you let it go dry not bone dry and you give it water and with them i bottle water my peace lilies i find that they love it um and that way i know i've watered it thoroughly um then i leave it until I see it's getting almost completely dry. I don't know how to explain that. Not completely dry, but almost. Though it tells me, I know there's a place where it starts drooping, where it's not completely flat yet, but it's beginning to show the signs that I need a drink. For me, I let it get there, where it it's beginning to show me the signs that I need a drink and the leaves are starting to droop. 
they are not completely drooping yet but they're starting to droop that's when i fill up i i put water at the bottom for them to soak up and yeah but nonetheless it's been fun those are my 10 plants which i believe and i i think they will make beautiful gifts to any one of your friends or family who loves whether they love plants or they like them they're not that into it much um they will appreciate any of this as a gift trust me they will and i always say if you're gonna go and give someone a plant as a gift make them a little card you know i always say that make them a little card with inst with with care guide you know don't just tell them because they're gonna forget if you just mention it while you give it to say oh merry christmas and like ah oh, this is so nice thank you so much don't just in passing say oh yeah remember don't overwater it uh, remember to feed it every second week or whatever in the summer or whatever. they're gonna forget that because you are you know there's, there's a lot going on i mean they're not gonna remember that so when you package your gift for them that card which you buy to say merry christmas or happy birthday or i love you just jay i just wanted to say i love you you know take that card and write the cake the care uh, guide for for that plant you know water tell them how to water the plant that it likes to be on the dry side of things or it likes to be on the moist side of things meaning let it dry completely or let it you can leave it to go completely bone dry it won't die on you just remember to give it water when you when you see it in that situation and uh you know and then you can even talk about the lighting to say it it will do okay medium low light but if you do have a bright lit spot where it's not exposed to the sunlight you can put it there and it will thrive for you and you can talk about fertilizing to say you know what in growing season fertilize it every second week you know and this is you can sorry you can even advise them to say these are the fertilizers you can look at you know and all that and then you can talk about um what else am i leaving out so we've got your water you've got your your light you've got your feeding um i don't know what i'm leaving out but it's good to write those care guides for them you know um you know and also say once in a while give it a dusting or wash it take it to the zinc and give it a thorough wash rinse your plant you know and to prevent pests and things like that they will appreciate that they will appreciate that but if you just gift it and expect a miracle chances are you're not gonna get a miracle and don't go getting upset when a plant dies which you bought to your friend please don't do it remember it's you giving that gift i mean um don't get mad that they only were able to keep it for a month or a week or two days don't get mad you know no don't get mad <laughs> okay um yeah just 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 be understanding that they 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 are not that into plants like you are and they might not have, know what to do like you do and it's okay that it died and don't stop buying it unless if they tell you to you know what i mean don't 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 yeah don't say ah this one i never buy them plants because who knows the second one they might just surprise you <laughs> but anyway it's been fun go buy your family or friends a plant for a gift this time around why not and you can add a chocolate to it i love chocolate <laughs> can add a chocolate to it or i don't know but it's been fun please share on the comments down below if it's something you would do by a friend or a family member a plant for a gift bye